We've come to Caracas 2020 to try and find our fifth Caracas Million winner. It's a race that's been really good to us over the last four years with Melody Bell winning, Avon Taj, Proba Bell, and now Cool as a Bell. Goes with and stays with Cool as a Bell for Tiaka. In November, we get the sales catalogue, and each night for the next three weeks, uh, I spend a couple of hours each night analysing the pedigrees of each yearling in the sale. We started looking at these horses in December, a couple of months ago, going around all the farms, seeing where they've been bred and raised, speaking to the stud masters to get a feel for each and every horse and uh, we've put a considerable amount of time and effort into looking at every horse that's in book one. Then we spend a lot of time deciding what our shortlist is, and then I discuss the shortlist with uh, Jamie Richards and Mark Walker. We finish up with about 100 yearlings out of 700 that we want to have another look at, and then we come here and inspect them. We get that list down to 80, and then we look at them again, and get it down to about 65, and then we get about 65 uh, vetted by our vet, Doug Black, who looks at the x-rays, looks at things like the scope, and gives us a, another opinion. Well, about three to four days before the sale starts, David, Jamie, and Mark uh, forward a list of anywhere between 150 and 180 horses normally, and that list really is there so-called short, it's a short list from all the horses that they've looked at at the studs. We will um, advise David and his team, Mark and, and, and Jamie, of any of the horses there, we shouldn't proceed any further with based on a risk analysis for racing and uh, primarily racing, but also resale. Everything else will be examined physically. Uh, the horse has walked up um, at least once. We have a look at its confirmation, front on and from the side and behind. Uh, we look at its action walking, basically get an idea of the type of horse it is, and whether it's a precocious type of horse or it's more likely to be a staying derby type of horse. Things that stand out are pretty important for us in that, at, at exam, really a confirmation, any physical abnormalities. Athleticism is a big part, and we, we like to ascertain horses on the basis that they're athletic horses that they're buying. We listen to the horse's heart, both sides of its chest, Look at both eyes with an ophthalmoscope and check its distal limbs, the bottom of its legs, front and usually hind legs, um, for any abnormalities, any swellings, any joint distensions or effusions. Have a good look at its front feet. And then from there, we've built a fairly good picture of that horse, of that yearling. We then go and set prices uh, on the horses that we like on each of the days. And we like to be fairly stringent with our budget. If they go over the amount that we put on them, then we're pretty firm. But if, for example, David didn't want to miss a colt or a filly of real quality, uh, then of course we will go a little bit further for the right horse. The big thing with the yelling sales is being able to visualise how these horses will grow and develop. Because today, it's irrelevant what they look like. What is very relevant is what they look like in six and 12 months time. And they change and they develop, and it's really important to be able to visualize exactly what sort of animal you're going to buy. So after we buy these horses, they then come home to Tiakau Stud, where they have beautiful paddocks that haven't had any stock in them for three months. They're specially prepared for the for the sale horses. We give them a month in the paddock and then we start breaking them in. That breaking in process takes about six weeks and then they go into the Matamata stable where Jamie gives them three or four weeks where they get educated, they get taught to use our treadmill, the swimming pool, they use the grass tracks, the plough, the two-year-old grass. They get fully educated and then they come home to Tiakau for a spell. At that stage, they've been fully assessed. We know what we think we can win the crack a million with. It was fantastic when David bought Probabiel off us. He made 380,000 through the ring. He was one of my picks of the sale beforehand, and at the end of the, obviously, a David's a fantastic judge. David Ellis, Tiakau stud, ladies and gentlemen. Well, you've bought yourself a nice filly indeed, David.
And you know when, when a horse is, is bought by Tiakau and bought by David, they're going to get every opportunity and she's a classic example of this. Um, going through, had all the education, won the million dollar two year old race, won the million dollar three year old race, just got beaten in the group one in Australia. You can't get any more opportunity than that. Yeah, it's been a great week, we've bought a lot of lovely horses and we've really tried to concentrate on buying horses that we think can get up and running at two. Horses that have got the physical strength uh, and athleticism to make two year olds but also have enough scope to train on and, and be really top class three year olds as well. Um, each and every Karaka Million winner that we've had is trained on to get better at three and hopefully like Melody Bell continue to get better at four and five. But um, uh, it was so exciting to see Probabil come out and be the first horse to win the Karaka Million two year old and train on to win the Karaka Million three year old mile. Uh, we got a lot of satisfaction out of that and it was a, a night that we'll probably never forget winning the $2 million races like that with horses that David has bought at Caraca, uh, both by the Champion Stallion and Savabil, and we couldn't have been more pleased with how the evening went.